Hey everybody, it's the budgeting flight attendant. If you are new here, I normally do budgeting and cash envelope stuffing videos, but today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am showing you what I pack in my crew cooler, and I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover on this one. Um, the point of this video is just to kind of show you what I spend um, my money on and <laughs> just kind of the food I tend to buy with my grocery envelope and also my health envelope. I know that if you've been watching me a while, that is one that I prioritize sometimes and it is to um, purchase a lot of, you know, supplements or, you know, healthy things that I could bring along on my trip because um, that is a priority of mine to stay healthy on these trips because flying is a little bit unhealthy when you do it too much. But I'm just showing you my crew cooler here. It's from a brand called Isolator Fitness. It's really cool. It's got these side pockets, um, an upper pocket, and a lot of space inside. It is very well insulated. Um, I'm just showing you what I put in my side pocket here. I kind of call it my pharmacy. <laughs> um, I put any medicines I need or supplies. Um, I take that little dish soap with me on my trips to wash any dishes that I have. That is not Fireball, you guys. I use that container for apple cider vinegar. I do like to take a little bit of that in the morning and dilute it with some water and just drink that first thing. And this is a thermogenic. I like to use that when I work out, specifically when I do cardio. So that is for that. It helps you sweat a little bit more. So I like to keep that in my side pocket as well. And then I have some Vicks Vapor Rub in case I get sick in the middle of a trip. When you're gone for like three or four days, you never know when you might pick something up. So I uh, like to have that with me to kind of help my nose if I need to, um, et cetera, and extra strength. This is a must for me. Like I can get through a work day with any kind of illness whatsoever, but if I have a headache, uh-uh, I can't do it. I'm such a baby with a headache, so I always bring my Excedrin. Um, and then just some Motrin in case I need it. I think I initially put that in there to begin with because I broke my toe um, a number of months ago. If you've been watching me for very long, you know that. But I also have this repairing hand cream. The um, water on in the lavatories is so harsh. It cracks my skin to the point of bleeding sometimes, so that's really important. Um, and then I got some cough drops there. Don't want anyone thinking I got COVID if I, <laughs> if I develop a cough. So I like to keep that. And then just some lip balm. And some Midol, just in case I need that. And my birth control. <laughs> And uh, that's a multivitamin right there. I, uh, I keep them in Ziploc baggies because it would be far too bulky to just like bring the jars. So I just reuse those um, Ziploc bags. And there's magnesium. I like to take that too. I'm running out though. I need to buy some more. And what else do I got? <laughs> a little bottle of tahini. I like to have that with me just in case. I love how I keep that in my <laughs> in my pharmacy. <laughs> and then um, also on top of that, I got these little Tide Pod and fabric softener baggies from a hotel. It's so cute, but they gave me several. So I'm just putting what I have left on top of these, um, these things in that pocket, just because sometimes during a trip I'll need to do laundry. So I like to keep that in there. And then moving on to the top pocket, I like to keep um, some masks in there. That's where I keep my um, extra masks for when I need them or if a passenger needs them. Um, and then also I put foil in there. We have ovens on the plane. So if I need to heat up any food, um, the foil is helpful, especially if I bring sweet potatoes. I didn't bring any this time, but I usually like to bring sweet potatoes and just bake it on the plane. And what am I talking about here? <laughs> this is a downside to uh, voiceovers. Oh yeah, I put like 16 green teas in there because I like to try to drink four a day. So those all go up there. And then these are just little honey packets that you know you get for free at like Starbucks or if a hotel has a little coffee station in the morning, sometimes they'll have pockets of honey. So 
I just bring those with me. I like to put those in my oatmeal. Um, so I put those in the back there. Um, but you'll see in a second, in addition to those, I also bought from the local farmer's market some honey sticks. Oh, there they are. <laughs> um, these are little honey sticks. I love these because they're flavored. So um, those normal honey packets I put in my oatmeal. But these, I like to add to like plain Greek yogurt um, or anything like that. And I was planning on go going to the store before I left for my trip, but I didn't have time. So I was going to get some little yogurts, but it didn't end up happening. Um, but I also like bringing these little whey protein packets. Um, I buy these in bulk at Costco. So for a four day trip, I'm bringing four. So I'm putting those in there. And then, what's that? Oh, that's red juice powder. So you know how, you know, people like to drink green juice. Um, well, red juice is also important. So I have some red juice powder. Um, I just put that in the baggie. Again, because the container is way too thick. So I just put them in Ziploc baggies and I label them. You can tell by the label that I've been using this Ziploc bag over and over and over and over again. Let me know if you have any recommendations though for reusable Ziploc baggies that are easy to clean because I have tried them before and it just, they're so hard to clean. Um, but anyway, so I also have other supplements like pre-workout L-carnitine. Um, what's this? Oh, and then I individually pack um, single servings of oats. Um, so I have four servings of that separated and I'm going to put them up there. Um, yeah, I'm a big gym person. So you notice all my supplements there, like all my workout supplements. Like I, I go hard with them, you guys. <laughs> um, that is kind of why my grocery and health envelopes are so high. And also I tend to dig into my spending envelopes to cover those expenses because ugh, they're just so expensive too it's just but it's worth it to me because i used to work in fitness so anyway so those are chia seeds <laughs> i like to add those to my oatmeal too i'm thinking about breakfast right now at, at this moment um for packing so that's why i'm kind of putting all the breakfast stuff right there and then that is pb2 um i like to it, I like to just, uh, instead of bringing peanut butter, I like to bring that because it's more compact and it's easily mixable. It's leaner and um, I could eat that with almost anything. I could put that on crackers. I could put that on my fruit, like apples, which you'll see later. I did bring some apples along. So that's what I like the PB2 for. Um, and then I also buy these in bulk at Costco, the RX bars, love those things, especially the black flavor there. What is it? Chocolate sea salt. Love that. Oh my God. Some flavors of these I really hate. <laughs> like some of them are disgusting. So it took me a while to find some flavors I liked, but they're so good for you. I like them a lot. So I put that in the other side pocket. I kind of put more snacky stuff in there. Trader Joe's sells bags of like these individually wrapped, um, almonds which looking back I don't like that purchase I really don't because of all the wasted plastic but so I won't buy those again instead I'll just I don't know I'll just probably do reusable Ziploc baggies with those or reuse regular Ziploc baggies and pack them like that I'm just swinging this voiceover, by the way, you guys, like I'm kind of thinking out loud. So if this is boring. I am so sorry. Um, but let's see, what am I talking about here? <laughs> this is also the challenging part of um, the voiceovers, but oh, I think I'm talking about, I think I put two extra ones of those because I still had a little bit of space in there and protein is the one thing that I kind of have trouble getting enough of so I think I added a couple more in that side pocket oh yeah and then I also brought these tuna cans I like those um, can opening tabs because I don't bring a can opener with me on my trips so this is a great way to get a, a meal in um, with some good protein and I love tuna so there it is I think I, I think I ended up putting that in that pocket actually yeah that's what I'm talking about <clears throat> Excuse me. 
so mostly snacks in there plus a couple of like meal items for me um at least the tuna is kind of like a meal so I'm closing that pocket and you'll notice later that I didn't actually bring a whole lot of meal stuff this time because like before I used to buy rotisserie chicken and I'd like, you know, oh, there's some liquid IV um, individually packed ones. I mean, aren't they all like that anyway? Anyway, I put those in there because I forgot those. Um, flying really dehydrates you guys. Like you wanna be drinking a lot of water, but sometimes it's not enough, especially with how much I fly. So I like to bring these if I can. Oh yeah, but anyway, so as I was saying, Oh, and here's some collagen. <laughs> I forgot collagen too. Like that just came in the mail yesterday and um, got to get on that anti-aging game. So added that to the pack. Um, but anyway, I found that um, a lot of airports have like a, like a market vending machine that like has chicken in it, like chicken breast. So um, I actually am starting to buy that instead of packing my own chicken. So this is the last pocket I'm kind of showing you right now. This is the insulated portion. Um, it's really dirty. I'm sorry, I've been using it for a while. But there is like these little pockets on the sides and I get these flat ice packs. Um, and I just slide them in the sides there. You'll see in just a second. But um, I like to just slide those in the sides and it keeps it really nice and chilled in there. Any food I have. And I try to pack enough fresh food for four days so um like i said i don't buy chicken anymore i just buy it at the airport because they have those vending machines and it's pretty good uh, and then i'm also showing you that um i usually chill with a uh i don't know what those are called but i fill that with ice and i use that as another chiller and um yeah and then sometimes i didn't this time too but sometimes i like to get um frozen asparagus bags from the grocery store that are like microwavable it seems in the bag in the microwave i like to buy those too because first of all it's frozen so it's another you know cold item that could keep things cold in there but also it's an easy vegetable to bring and eat and i love asparagus <laughs> so i like to bring those but this time what you see in there you'll notice a kombucha bottle i save those and then i make my own smoothies and then I put those in the in the uh, kombucha bottles and I put them in the freezer. And, um, and then I just use it as another ice thing. So as you can see, I just kind of layer on how many cold things I have in there, specifically frozen things, um, to make the food more refrigerated throughout the day. Cause sometimes we have like 15 hour duty days and you know, sometimes the hotel refrigerators are not that great. So yeah, I like to put as many frozen things in there as I can. Um, but anyway, anytime I make a smoothie, it's a green smoothie. So that's what that is. So that's my vegetable this time. Um, I would ordinarily try to bring more vegetables, but uh, I did not have time to go to the store. So no asparagus for me this time. It's just the green smoothie. Um, I'm just showing you how I was able to close it. But um, there was another Tupperware in there. It had grapes. Um, I tried a TikTok hack. It had grapes with um, jello powder on it and then you just freeze it. And when you pull it out, it's like a, it's like a healthier Sour Patch Kid is what it is. And um, as you can see, I also had another couple of apples in there, but that's all I had in my crew cooler. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video just so you can kind of get a look at what I tend to spend my money on and what I pack for my job as a flight attendant, but I will see you on the next video. Bye.